Sometimes in a conversation in a diversity training program, or even just in conversation outside of such a program, we're talking about differences of race and, and gender or sexual orientation, white men will say that they feel like they're being bashed. Well, we're going to talk about that some more in this video. I'm Ken Dolan Del Vecchio. My YouTube channel is called Work Life Confidential. And if this content is helpful for you, please give this video a like and please consider subscribing to the channel so that you get updates when new videos come out. So men and boys, we're taught right from the beginning that we should be strong, that we should be courageous, that we should have a moral compass, that these virtues are really important. And actually, I think they're important for all adults. But what happens to them, that's my question, when we, when we see things like what happens to transgender people and transgender women of color, let's say even more so, just for being in the public world, they are routinely assaulted. And here's an image that has many of the 26, at least 26 people who were killed, transgender people who were killed in 2020. And then when we think about people who have black and brown skin color, well, here's another image. And this is an image from a newscast that was showing a situation where four kids aged 6 to 17, all girls in a black family, were apprehended by the police. They were pulled out of their car at gunpoint, told that they had to get down on the pavement, and two of them were handcuffed. So they've got guns pointed at them. They were held there for two hours. And the reason that that happened is that the police were looking for a stolen motorcycle with Montana plates. These kids, I'll call them kids, the oldest was 17, were in a, an SUV with Colorado plates. This kind of stuff doesn't happen to people who look like me. It doesn't happen to white men. And so we've got to see that the fact that we're treated consistently with a good amount of dignity and respect and given the, the benefit of the doubt, that's a privilege. And that's a privilege that is not afforded to many, many other people. And rather than recognizing that and responding by saying, wow, this is something we've got to fix, which would be completely in line with those virtues of masculinity, or we might say just healthy adulthood, which are all about courage and strength and, and doing the right thing, there's often a very different reaction. And the reaction is kind of along the lines of, well, why do I have to pay attention to that? Why is it up to me to do anything about it? And, and then when we get into a deeper conversation, it becomes clear that that not knowing about that is something that we've, not knowing about these kinds of incidents, let's, let's say, is something that we've lived with for our, our whole lives. And if we look really honestly and deeply at ourselves, we'll probably come to the realization that we've heard so much negative stuff about the kinds of people to whom this kind of thing is done that those biases have got inside of us. And to some extent, we go along with them. And pointing this out, often there'll be a response from some who will say, well, this is white male bashing. This is white male bashing. And, and bashing is something that happens far more to people of color, as I've described in those couple of examples, than to people who look like me. And so what I'm hoping is that we can get beyond the emotional discomfort. I think that very frequently, we who are white and male, we take emotional discomfort. Like, it's uncomfortable to talk about racism. It's uncomfortable to talk about bias. It's uncomfortable to talk about how maybe I'm holding on to and enacting some of these, or at least looking the other way. We equate that discomfort at being asked to look at these things with being bashed. 
well, we, don't we have the strength, the courage, and the moral fortitude to get beyond that? That's what I'm, I'm really hoping that we're going to see more and more of, that, that white men, and you are seeing this more and more in the younger generation and across all generations, really, that all of us will get together with people of all genders and all skin colors and say, look, we all deserve to be treated with respect, with care. We all deserve to be given justice all the time. That's what we need to fight for. So I'm hoping that we can put aside this idea that being asked to look at privilege, being asked to look at bias within ourselves and in the world, somehow equates to bashing. And we can move to a point where we say, look, we're all committed to creating a world that conveys justice to every human being. If you find this content helpful, again, please think about giving a, a like, thumbs up for this video, and subscribing to the channel. It's called Work Life Confidential. And please also leave your comments. I'd love to respond to your thoughts on this and all the other topics that I talk about, which have to do with critical perspectives on leadership, on parenting, on human systems of all kinds. Take care of yourself.